Hi, I'm Willem Boots here at coffeecourses.com. Obviously, this is a roasting machine sitting behind me. Have you ever wondered what's inside here? How does that roasting drum look like and how will it and can it affect the dynamics of your roasting profile? So the best designs of roasting drums, they don't only allow the coffee to rotate with the motion of the drum, but they also um, allow the coffee to move from back to forth, back to forth through the roasting drum so that there's an optimum mixing between the coffee and the uh, stream of hot air coming through the drum. Now that all sounds very logic. The best roasting machines, in my opinion, they allow for an, an optimum control on that process. Nowadays, it's uh, possible to buy, buy roasting machines that have so, a so-called uh, variable frequency drive that allows you to increase or decrease the speed, the RPM, the rotations per minute of this drum. Now, what does that do? Slowing the drum down also slows down the rate of heat exchange between the coffee and the air. And increasing it, increasing that speed, does the opposite. The rationale could be that while you get further into the roast, the beans get lighter, they pop up, their ability to absorb heat becomes, uh, gets increased, so while you get further into that roast, you might want to experiment reducing the RPMs of your roasting drum. Now, many roasting machines don't have this ability. Other aspects that I think are important are also that in this roasting drum, you have certain used materials. So how about stainless steel? How about mild steel? In my opinion, mild steel is better because mild steel doesn't easily develop hot spots like stainless steel does. How about double wall versus single wall? This is really an issue of heat distribution and how the flames or the heat source is positioned toward the drum. I don't think necessarily that double wall drums are always better than single wall. Uh, there are many reasons to actually prefer single wall drums, specifically when you look for a highly responsive roasting system. And then um, last but not least, you know, the roasting drum should have or is probably better off with some cast iron components because the cast iron doesn't expand as much as steel does and so that helps you to prevent um, drums that uh, are going squeaking against the faceplate and that allow uh, chips to fall through the gap between the drum and the faceplate resulting in other potential uh, risks, fires, etc. that we don't want to have with roasting. So the roasting drum, in other words, is the heart of your machine and please consider the, its design when you buy your roaster.